Here, right this way. The Matsugane are an offshoot of the Tojo clan. Not the biggest Yakuza family on the block. They're a small branch that's low on the tree. But the family's patriarch, Mitsugu Matsugane, is like a father to me. And Kaito-san. Excuse me. Yagami-san's here to pay you a visit. Oh, so good to see you again, my boy. Now then, feels like ages since you last stopped by. I know. I wonder why that is, huh? Could it be that you're the only one who's glad to see me? Well, you have a point there. How's Kaido these days? Staying out of trouble? He's okay. If not for that incident, he'd still be part of the family, you know. Hard to believe it's already been a year. Uh, the both of you are more or less the sons I never had. The past is what it is. True. But I'm glad to hear he's doing well, under your watch. I'm sure Kaito-san will always feel like my Aniki. If not for you, I would have taken another direction in life. Be a very different person, I think. Should have turned out just fine, my boy. Excuse me. T. So then, what would drag you back to an office where you're not exactly welcome? Hamura is giving me some grief. Is he now? I was under the assumption Genda is handling the issue. Are you helping him out with the case now? Shintani's got me looking for the Kyori clan. I just need to find them, so I can ask him a few things. Not wise, my boy. You do know they're all up in arms right now. Sure you want this? Don't worry. I just want to have a word. Does the name the Kajihira group mean anything to you? No. I can't say that it does. They're a Kansai outfit. It's... they've got a front in the city, the KJ Art Office down on Senrio Avenue. Be careful, though. There's Kyori crawling on every floor. These are Tojo clan streets, but that's their turf now. Senrio Avenue. KJ Art, eh? I'll check it out. I know you're busy. Although, you think I could visit your office someday soon? Keep it on the down low? Yeah, of course. Kaito-san, just left the Matsugane office. The Kyore are shacked up in some place called KJ Art. Huh. And that's where we'll find Morase? Not sure. We won't know if we don't check it out ourselves. You're thinking stakeout, huh? Sounds like the perfect time to give the drone a whirl. That might be our only choice. Fingers crossed. Anyway, I'll see you over there. Ha <laughs> 
Nice try, jerk. And stay down. What's up? It's me. You at KJ Art yet? Looks like it. Where are you? I'm on the opposite roof. Look up. I see you. Be up in a sec. Yo. Hell of a view, wouldn't you say? Too bad the place is absolutely crawling with Yakuza. Guess this is the Kyore hideout after all. No doubt. And Marase? Couldn't find him. I looked pretty damn hard with the drone, too. You sure it was hard enough? Uh, sure. Come on, let's try again. I'll fly it this time. When you want something done, do it yourself, right? Sure, you ass. This here is Marase. Wonder if we can just peek through the windows, see if we can find him. Hey, what's with the book? Don't these guys have anything better to do? Suspicious. Hmm. Hold up, hold up. That's him. Shit, he went inside. Let's try and figure out where to. There he is. Well fucking done, man.
Guy has his own office, huh? He must be important. Think they'd let us meet him? We wouldn't get past the front door. <laughs> Especially if we told him why we're here. We'll need to find another way in if we want to put the squeeze on Marase. Agreed. What are you thinking? Oh, there's a few options on the table. As for the best one... Maybe I could go undercover. Oh yeah? Who has? I was thinking pizza delivery. You ever seen a pizza guy get invited inside? Right. Forget the pizza. What about some kind of repairman? Now you're talking my language. They've got jumpsuits over at Don Quixote. Still, you can't show up and expect them to just let you stroll on in there. True, huh? I think I've got it. Huh? What would they do if the heater broke? Call a repairman, obviously. Are you suggesting we just wait till it breaks? I don't know. Maybe we could speed things up a bit. Never thought I'd see the day you came up with a plan like that. Who are you? And where'd you bury Tox's body? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Anyway, I'm gonna make things a little chilly for these KJ guys. You keep watch, okay? Sounds good. Let's do this shit. Almost there. Got it. You asked for it. Really, guys? What's up? Checking in. You get the goods? Yeah, I'm heading back now. Better hurry. The plan's working. KJ Art's chilling out over here. They just called a repairman. Perfect. I'll be there as soon as I can.
Ready. Get changed then, would you? Okay, okay. Nice. I think this will work. I know you're in a disguise and all, but don't let your guard down, okay? Try to blend in. Who do you think you're talking to? Hi there. I heard you're having some heater trouble. I'm here to fix it. Yes, it seems to have stopped. Thank you for coming on such short notice. The main unit is just out the door to the left, right around the emergency stairwell. Uh, mind if I take a look at an indoor unit as well? These things can be pretty complicated. Is that really necessary, sir? It'll help me get a better idea of the whole system. I'd rather not bore you with the specifics. Very well, then. Sure. There's one in the security office to your left. Thank you very much. I'll have you guys heated up in no time. Suspicious. Suspicious. Just the guy I was looking for. You're here to fix the heat, yeah? Got something I need you to check out. Oh, sure. No problem. Come on, this way. 
<laughs> I'm freezing my balls off, man. Hope this goes quick. There it is. Power's on and all, but nothing's happening. Okay, let me see what I can do. Yep. Yeah, this thing's seen better days. Thanks, Sherlock. Can you fix it? Hey, genius. If you're gonna fix it, don't you need to take the panel off first? Uh, <laughs> <sighs> 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 hey, what's up? Well, ain't that something? Never realized it was that simple. Glad I could be of service. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other repairs to make. Huh? Who are you? Oh, I'm uh, here to repair the heater, sir. Weird. You ain't the usual guy. Where's our man, huh? Never had anyone else come for us. Oh, uh, about that. You know what? I'll just give him another call. See what's up for myself. I'm actually from Comro Maintenance, sir. Have you heard of us? We're small, but, uh, growing? Can't say that I have. Must be new in town. I guess someone else put the call in then. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to startle you. Yeah, it's all right. Makes sense why I wouldn't recognize you. We fix it or your money back, sir. Almost there. Got it.
you dumbass! We warned you this was gonna happen. Flex, I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Just get the hell out of here. Huh? But... Huh? Kaito-san? But I got a call about a broken heater. I told you. We figured it out. All fixed. Nothing to see here. Can I at least check to make sure everything's okay? Oh, and I'll need you to sign this, too. I'm not signing shit. You didn't even fix anything. Now get the hell out of here. Uh, actually, could I borrow your restroom? I'm not feeling so good. Shit yourself for all I care. What? Just here to talk, Murase-san. Look, I risked my life to get in here. Just... I don't have to do shit. You can't boss a Yakuza around!
What the hell are you after, huh? I already said, I just want to talk. Look at this. This is you running away after abandoning Kume. Who do you think you are? I'm a local detective. Hamura's lawyer is having me look into Kume's murder. So what? You're defending Hamura? You think I'm gonna tell you shit, asshole? I thought we already negotiated. You wanna go again? You're not getting out of this unscathed, you know. I know your face now. Do you really think Hamura killed Kume? Of course I do. Who else could have done it? That's what I'm trying to find out. I need to know what happened that night. <sighs> it's as clear as day. Hamura gouged Kume's eyes out. End of story. Yeah? Where? How? In the dump behind a moor. Bastard tortured Kume to death. Actually, the murder happened somewhere else. And I have the evidence to prove it. Take a look at this. What the hell? That's Kume. Hey, what the? Sorry, I'm sure this is tough to look at. But as you can see, there's almost no blood around his body. That means he was killed somewhere else, then transported to the alleyway. Oh, I guess so, huh? Mm, doesn't add up, does it? So, you ready to talk now? Hmm. <sighs> okay, let's take it from the top. Now, after you ran away from Amor, where exactly did you go? You couldn't just let them take Kume, could you? Yeah, I had to do something. So, I went to round up the rest of the clan. We had to take Kume back. But nobody would help, would they? You kidding? Of course they helped. We burst in there ready to bust heads. But I thought nobody else went in or out of Amor. What? You mean because the camera didn't see anyone? <laughs> Funny thing, that. Turns out you can't get seen if the camera's broken. The back alley was our ticket in. So you really went inside? Yep. Not a soul in the house, though. Trust me, we searched the whole damn joint. And when was that? Just after midnight, I suppose. Right when the prosecution says Hamura was laying into Kume. If you're telling the truth, that's a clear contradiction. Huh. Who gives a shit what the prosecution says? Hamura killed Kume, and that's that. Ain't no other way. Maybe so. But the police still need to hear your story. If you could just testify to that... You gotta be kidding me. Why the fuck would I do that, huh? Yeah, it was worth a try. <laughs> nice work. So Murase busts into a moor. And who does he find? Absolutely nobody. Yep, Captain Hamura said he kicked Kume out, then hit the sauna right around midnight. The stories match up. You really think he's innocent? Not sure. Our next step is finding proof he was at that sauna. Guess that's that. Well, <sighs> I'm pooped. How about we call it here for tonight? Yeah, good call. I'll see you tomorrow, Kaito-san.
Hey, you find anything? Sure did. Marase spilled the beans over at the Kyore hideout, a place called KJ Art. And you made it out of there in one piece? Incredible. All in a day's work, Shintani-sensei. So, according to Marase, Amor was empty at midnight on the 3rd. That directly contradicts the prosecution's assertion that Hamuro was beating Kume to death at the time. Well, that's a hell of a find. But is Marase gonna testify? That's not that easy. Uh, it never is. Either way, Marase's telling the truth. I found something that backs his story up. Hmm? This is Amor. Three hours after Hamura took Kume. Midnight. Take a good look at the edge of the screen. We don't see any of them go inside, so I thought nothing of it. But the stories match up. Marase and his guys went to Amor to take Kume back. And they left empty-handed. <sighs> Sounds like we need to talk to Captain Hamura. There are too many unanswered questions. Agreed. I'll set up another visit. Give me a call once you do. Yagami-san, you spoke to Mafio, yes? Huh? Yeah, why do you ask? She seemed happy. It had been a while since she last saw you. Oh, cool? But she looks sad, too. Sad? Wonder why. As do I. See you later.
This again. Really, guys? Stay down. is ready for us. Take a cab over to the Camarocho police station. Will do. Thanks. guys. When the fuck am I getting out of here, Tuck? Don't ask me. Shintani Sensei's your lawyer, remember? Hamura-san, I've got something to show you. December 3rd, 11.55 p.m. A Kyore man by the name of Murase comes to a moor to rescue Kume. Not wanting to be seen by the cameras, he goes in through the back. And? Marase said there wasn't a soul in sight. Well, yeah. I'd already hopped over to the sauna. And what did you do with Kume? I already told you I threw him out the back. And before that? Huh? Around 10 o'clock, you kicked everyone else out so you could be alone with Kume. I have testimony to back that up. Why'd you do it, though? What can I say? I guess Kume reminded me of an old friend. I must have been feeling nostalgic. Who knows, though? I was pretty plastered. That's so. Did you need to kick everyone out just for that? Uh, I told you I was drunk. Who knows what I was thinking? Well, you seem to remember other parts clearly, though. Like when you left the club. What are you getting at? For a so-called innocent man with an alibi? 
Your story has an awful lot of holes. Oh, yeah? You wouldn't hide something from us, would you? Of course not. Something like the true killer's identity? I said I'm not hiding shit! Now get the hell out there and prove my alibi! I was at the sauna all night long. Prove that and I'm in the clear! I need to have a backup plan in case your alibi doesn't pan out. But I can't help you if you're gonna hide things from your lawyer. You're suspected of abducting a rival clan member, gouging his eyes out and dumping him in an alleyway. They'll lock you up and toss the key if we can't win this. Has that thought even crossed your mind? Or are all Yakuza just that fearless in the face of a life sentence? Fear has nothing to do with it. But like hell am I gonna beg you to save me. Then who would you beg? <laughs> None of your business. It's only a matter of time, Hamura. I'll figure out what you're hiding. Hey, Yagami! Yo, sounds like you've been busy. Had a little chat with Hamra. Wasn't real productive. Figures. He's keeping something from us. There might be more to this case than we thought. So what? You telling me we hit a dead end? More or less. I need more to work with. Specifically... Like what Hamura and Kume did after leaving Amur. Eyewitness testimony. We don't have time to scour the city for leads, though. Hey, how much money you got? How much you need? You'll need 30k or so. I've got this friend. A local detective on the force. He'll tell you anything for the right price. Anything? <laughs> anything. Guy's an informant. You want the dirt only cops have access to. He's the guy you hit up. So you're saying he's a dirty cop? Name's Ayabe. He's a regular over at Tender. Really? Yeah. Surprised you'd never run into him there. It's where everyone goes to meet him. Try asking your pal Masuda. <laughs> 